experience a popcorn appearance, uneven pressure, and one tank emptying before the other, it is an indication that your spray foam tanks were not warm enough before using them. You can get creative by placing your tanks in a hot tub for 30 minutes and wrapping a towel to hold in the heat. Or you can do it the right way with Tiger Foam tank warmers which are designed to keep Tiger Foam at the optimal temperature for your application. Tiger Foam wraps will sustain the temperature of the tanks for the life of the job. In opening up a kit you need to ensure that you have the proper tanks A and B Check your tank temperature with an infrared reader. Make sure you warm your tanks up to 85 degrees Fahrenheit or 27 degrees Celsius. Likewise, if the spray foam becomes too hot, the application will not be ideal. Wait for the product to cool down to the optimal temperature before proceeding. Consult full product instructions included with the warmers for details on how to use Tiger Foam wraps. You should check the temperature of your tanks every hour until they read correct. Before spraying, be sure to have proper personal protective equipment including gloves, goggles, respirator, and a full Tyvek suit including a hood. Make sure to ensure you're connecting the proper hose to the proper tank. Screw the hose onto the tank by hand. And then tighten with a wrench till firmly in place. Repeat the same process with the second tank. It is important to apply a loop to the nozzle to allow for a bond breaker between the material and the tip cavity of the gun where the tip is applied. The 
bottom line is that if you didn't have a bond breaker, the tip would weld itself to the gun and prevent you from switching out tips. Sometimes when spraying overhead especially, there may be a fine mist of back spray. You should ensure the area you are spraying is well ventilated to maintain a natural air quality. This is why it's extremely important to use a proper respirator. You're able to leave your product in the warmers during use to maintain the temperature. There you have it, now you're ready to spray foam.